So whenever you're doing anything drills or trying to do strict muscle ups, um, we're doing it in a false grip. Okay. So for the strict muscle ups, try to find a height where you either don't have to jump super high into the ring, or you can either reach standing or just have to jump like a little bit. Again, finding that false grip, it's going to be pretty hard, especially if you have to jump higher and then finding it. So find the rings where you can either reach them or uh, a small jump. I'll show you two good grips where eventually you're trying to get to. False grip. So in order to get those muscle ups as I showed, um, there's a bunch of different drills you can do too, but you can find even more. I'm gonna show you a few different ones. You can pick and choose, find whatever works best for you, maybe do all of them, do one of them one time, next time you do another one. But uh, yeah, I'll go over a few different ones, find whatever works for you, okay? The first one I'm gonna show you is um, a bench or a box in front of you. The rings put a roughly stomach height and a glow chest above the hip. Again, you play around with different heights, different heights of the box or bench, whatever you're using to find whatever works best for you. Again, we're gonna find that false grip we talked about. Always when you're doing these drills, holding the false grip, put your feet on here, and then literally from here, an aggressive pull over the ring. Um, we don't care about the press on again, like most people don't struggle with that, so don't worry about the press up. We are solely focusing on the trim safe, okay? So that's one way of doing it. You can also, you can add in your hip thrust a little bit, and this will be a drill for mainly, mainly kipping. Uh, kipping muscle up can also be used for the strict to kind of still drill in that uh, getting over the ring transition. If you are doing a hip thrust as well, you're gonna go over the hip a little bit, and you're gonna assist with that hip thrust to get over the rings. Next one is going to be on a band. Um, I let the rings hang in the same height, roughly that, like stomach height, below chest, above hip. Find a band that suits you, uh, depending on where, where you're at in your, um, at what level you're at in terms of getting that string muscle up. I'm just gonna use a purple one for this uh, demonstration. I'm gonna put it on the ring. You're not gonna, you can loop it around if you want, like kind of like a tie and knot, like that on one of them, but honestly, it's not, need, it's not needed. So, I am just holding on to the band right here. We're gonna find that false grip again. So, putting it on, finding that false grip. I'm gonna take the band around me. Put it on the other ring. I'm just putting it over and not looping it or anything. And I'm finding that false grip. It can be a little bit tricky to get into this one here. Now I have the false grip, I have the band here. I'm gonna sit in the band. And from here, I'm gonna lead back. And I'm actually sitting on the band. Here, I'm gonna pull over the rings. Uh, number three, again, I've left the rings the same height. I'm gonna grab that false grip again. This time, I'm just gonna assist with my legs. So, here you want to play around with the rings at the height of the rings a little bit. Um, false grip, I'm sitting down, and here I'm assisting with like my legs. So, the more legs and the more help I need, the more I'm gonna use my legs. So I'm finding our position, pulling, getting up over the rings. So here, the more help you need, the more uh, help from the legs you can use. You can even start using just one leg if you feel like it. And you can slowly try to get away from even using your legs, just using it at those tough points. Maybe if you have a good pull, but you just can't get over the rings, maybe you can assist a little bit there with one leg. Um, so try to use your legs, I guess what I'm saying is use your legs as little as, as, little as possible. Uh, one last thing to this one here is that trend, like negative. So whenever we're coming over the rings, rather than just like falling out and starting over again, try to lower yourself down slowly. So from here, down. It goes for all of the movements and right? all the exercises I'm showing you now. Like, rather than just getting over the rings and then just letting it on and then starting over, let's try on your way down, your way back out of it. Try to go, go down slowly. So slow, slow, slow. 
slow, 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 slow. Um, doing negatives is a completely different thing, but uh, just at least trying to go like fairly slow out of the, out of the whatever like, sets you're doing. Last one I'll show you is um, a jumping progression. So again, this is going to be for the straight muscle up, but it can also be used for uh, the kipping muscle up. Uh, it, work, it works for both. Um, because we are focusing on the strict right now, we are doing this with a false grip. I put the rings up in the roughly uh, shoulder height. Make sure you have a little bit of clearance so you're not banging your head into the bar over your head. Um, I'm dropping down, holding my false grip, and I'm then jumping into it. Similar to the last one I just showed you, the more need, like the more help you need, the more you just assist with your legs. So if you need a lot of help, just gonna use more. And if you almost have your strict muscle up, just use maybe one leg, come down false grip, and try to literally just pull your weight over with just your, your arms and your lats rather than using your legs. So that's it, that's uh, strict muscle up progression here. Um, in the program we will have designated like some rest for you, like how many you're gonna do if you are doing negatives. I just showed you like a little bit of tutorial right now how like you can do them. You pick and choose, so like again you can pick multiple, like I'm not gonna tell you exactly, we aren't gonna tell you exactly what to do. You're literally just going to pick whatever you feel is best for you. Try them out, maybe again on Mondays you're doing one thing. If it's on the program again next Monday, maybe you do another one, okay? So it's up to you how you're playing around with this. Um, you can't go wrong with this, we are just trying to get closer and closer to your strict muscle up and by getting stronger, like that's the way to get it.